Haiti is nearly 2,000 miles away from where we are here in Rockford, but that's not stopping one Rockford charity from helping the island nation recover from tragedy. Here's a look at how Hope for Haitians is working to give a helping hand tonight. Food, clean water, and shelter are all things we think of as rights in our country, but elsewhere they are a privilege every day. It's very difficult for us in this country to understand the severe poverty that people have in Haiti. The things that we take for granted for shelter and food and personal hygiene, those are, those are things that most of the people in Haiti don't enjoy. They Hope for Haitians' latest project tackles poor communities across the country, especially the ones that are spread out and cut off from resources. It's a very rural environment, um, very spread out. We're coordinating our work there with a local pastor, with some other leadership that we've developed on the ground. Tonight at the Montanese Country Club, an auction is raising money that goes directly to those families who need it now more than ever. It's about fundraising raising tonight are designed to get us into this new community and begin the transformative work there. Dr. Jin works firsthand with these families as the Haitian representative and liaison. He confirms that the work being done is changing lives for the better. If you imagine people who were homeless or people who have a house but leaks when it rains, so it made a big difference for them when they have a new house with uh, flushing toilets, with uh, rooms for their kids they didn't have before. So it's like uh, it's a blessing for them. As they prepare for the work ahead, Dr. Jin keeps in mind that these people have no one else to rely on. So I really suggest that people uh, contribute more so we can do more in Haiti because those people really need us. And uh, we cannot count on government, but uh, we, cannot, we can count on people's contributions so we can do more good. Hope for Haitians have successfully built 765 homes over the last 21 years. They break ground in another 20 homes on Monday. Will, back to you.